Welcome back. So now this is the third example. Let's try and bypass this one now. Upload the PHP file. Seems like it's not working. Mime? I don't know what that means, but you know what? Let's try and identify this security vulnerability. Let's open our burp suite. Let's perform the attack we did last time. And just a quick reminder, if we go to the uploads directory, there's nothing in it besides the image of this team is perform what we did last time so let, let's see if we can do that so proxy is on interceptors on let's try and let's enable that let's browse for the file payload it's still a php file let's click repeater let's send that request and i don't think it worked let's try php4 okay what about application x php you know the best thing that you can do is look at content types for php okay what i will do yeah i got a, i got another idea so on our desktop what we can do is just generate this into an image so essentially when we upload the image, we'll be able to still send commands on the bar. But we'll get back to that one in a second. Let's see if we can still bypass this one. So let's try and do image slash JPEG send, see what happens. Let's just do image and see what happens. What does it do? Mime. Okay. Alrighty. So yeah, what about this? So let's try and let's try and upload. Let's try and upload this image one. It still does that. Okay, let's try it again. Let's turn on our interceptor. Let's drop this connection and Let's click submit on that and see what happens. Well, nothing happened for that. Why did that do that? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna just re-upload that. We are going to click submit. Oops, let's do that again. Interceptor is on, submit. There we go. Let's send that to the repeater. So this is the payload. Obviously, if we send that, it's going to say that again hasn't worked successfully. So let's try something else. Dot. Like that, maybe. Maybe this. You've got to try different versions, you see. Let's just open this up with text editor real quick. And... I don't know why I did that. That's not the goal there. I wanted to... Let's do it like this and see what happens. All right, so we're going to upload it. Click upload. I'm going to click submit. There it is. Let's see what happens. Repeater. Click send. File uploaded. File uploaded. Let's go to the file. Let's see if it uploaded. There it is. Click that. Here it is. Cannot do, be displayed. Let's test it out. So another trick which we could do whilst we are at it, is we could spawn a HTTP server with our real payload, with the main payload itself, right? So we're going to run that. So the previous episode, which we did, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to run a HTTP server. So check this out. So we're going to get rid of this and type in include, which includes the file, HTTP, and then our malicious file to the server from our server i don't think you need it i think you just do that oh we could do that anyway just to make sure and then we're gonna it's gonna say payload.php we're gonna send that and see what happens file uploaded okay so it uploaded it again maybe let's call it something else upload um two okay so it's uploaded let's go check it out Let's have our server running. Let's go to uploads. Image 2, click that. Okay. Did it get our server though? That's what I'm thinking. Slash halo.php. So the minute you go there, it should download that file. Let's try that again. Image 3.php. Let's try that. It says it uploaded again, so let's go back and test it. Upload three, there we go. We're going to try this one again and see what happens. So it says file uploaded. Four, three. So to identify it to really see if it's working, let's just try and print it out on our terminal. Okay, so it seems like I've escaped the code. 
and it says cannot execute blank command. See that? That's interesting. So it seems like I've been trying to explore various ways, and that's why the application is kind of failing here. So as you can see, we successfully exploited it. This is a Windows machine, so we've got to remember that. So if we type in dir, we can see here we got the response back and we basically exploited the server and got remote code execution. Now we can perform malicious tasks. Yeah, isn't that interesting? So if we type in dir, you can see this is the directory that we are in. We have successfully bypassed that. Anyway, so we have successfully bypassed this one. It took me a little while to figure it out, but that's okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next.